390 Wagon Master here. I want to do a quick video uh, on the Astatic 60th Anniversary Diamond Eagle microphone. And what got me started on this video, or why the, the, the reason why I'm making this video is we had a viewer by the name of AJ, and he asked me, he said, hello there, do you have any clue how much this uh, Diamond Eagle can cost? I've got one in the box with paperwork. All right, so I tried to return or answer this gentleman's question in the comment section, but YouTube AI, uh, the children at YouTube just didn't want me to insert the word scam or plan in front of, let's give it a second here, throw the AI off, in front of Demic. So pre, uh, I'm sorry, pre-pandemic, um, this microphone was going for 150 bucks or so in good cosmetic condition in the box with paperwork. During the pandemic, we saw prices just go crazy as in not only in CB, but many other hobbies. And just, you know, with all that free money floating around, uh, everybody was just overpaying for everything. I saw people trying to sell these things for like $900. Uh, there's a certain guy that puts yellow towels underneath his equipment. And I think that he had one going for 900 or a thousand or something like that. Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to get to is if I was to look for one of these microphones, knowing what I know about them, and I'm not really a professional, I'm just kind of a, an enthusiast, uh, I would pay up to $100 for a Diamond Eagle in uh, good condition to mint condition without a box and paperwork. If it had the box and paperwork, that is the sales flyer, the um, certificate of authenticity, the serial number tag on the back, and the little engravement tag that you can put on the other side, they leave. They give you one of this with a, one of these with a couple screws. They leave this blank so you can engrave your handle, unit number, whatever, and then mount it onto the side. If I was to find one in the box with all of this stuff unengraved, I'd prefer it unengraved. I would go 150 bucks. Um, if I, you know, maybe a couple dollars more, but I don't know. Anyway, they are a good microphone. This is basically a Silver Eagle, innards, okay? So you have a little diamond on the back and everything back here. Um, it's a, it's a good-looking microphone. They're really nice. However, they do have a problem, and um, I am experiencing this problem, this little issue now, for the second time in my ownership of this microphone. My wife bought me this microphone for my birthday in, Sept in September of 1993. So I've had this a long time. Back when I first received this microphone, I used to just grab it and talk on it like any other ordinary D104. You just grip to talk, do the PTT bar, you're all good. As we know from using these, our hands can get a little sweaty on this, on these, and on the on the chrome ones. Um, I've never really seen a problem with pitting or wear. Uh, I have seen on the chrome ones where the felt has come out of the little lock bar, so when people slide it up and down, it can wear on the chrome. But what this was doing, because these are brass-plated, they're not gold, they're brass-plated, what happened was my uh, sweat made the stock and the PTT bar um, uh, deteriorate. It, the, the plating was coming off. It was pitting and coming off. I called a static after I noticed this happening. The nice lady at a static said, yes, their outside vendor that was doing the plating. Apparently there was an issue with the plating process. They have that worked out now. Send it back and they'll redo my microphone at no charge. All right. This was probably in probably October or November of 93. About a month later, I uh, got the mic back in the mail. And after that, I used to use either, uh, I know this sounds weird, but I used to use like a cotton glove or I would take a clean shop towel or a t-shirt and wrap around there. So I, I was just afraid of it happening again. I'm kind of OCD with that, okay? Um, let's fast forward to now. All these years later, I pull it out of the box to do this video, and now I'm seeing some pitting right here, which kind of upsets me, to be honest with you. But there it is again. So now, with this information, I'm going to pretty much stick to my pricing. 150 bucks for one of these in mint or near mint condition in the box, all the paperwork, engraved or non-engraved. You want this little plate here because the microphone has two holes, two little threaded holes here in the base for that plate to be in there. So you want the plate, you want your serial number plate. My serial number is 789. 
Um, the lady told me at, at a static back in the day, and you know, this is X amount of years ago, this is quite a long time ago, um, but she said that um, uh, they had their first batch, uh, the, it was the first batch of these that were defective. Now mine being at 789, I'm gonna say, if you're under a thousand on this, as far as the serial number goes, I would watch for plating issues or be careful with it when you use it, okay? I'm not really sure when that issue was fixed or if that issue was even fixed. I don't know how many of them are out there with pitted with pitted plating or not, but anyway, there you go. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video. I'm just upset that the, um, the, the people at YouTube were um, we're uh, trying to censor me for my opinion on uh, on that little, you know, that little issue that we had for a couple of years there. Uh, anyway, so I just thought I would just do a video on it. Anyway, AJ, thanks for the question. That's a great question. And there you go. It's a beautiful looking microphone. Uh, they function well. They sound really good. If you, by the way, if you do not use these much, these have a little leaf switch in here with some carbon contacts on it. And, and if you don't use these microphones very much, they will tend to give you a lot of switch noise. So basically when you're, you know, keying the microphone, they'll kind of <laughs> and stuff like that. The simplest way to get rid of that is just cycle, cycle the, um, cycle the PTT bar quite a ways and it will uh, stop making that noise. You can also uh, pull the stock, uh, undo the head, pull the stock out and everything and maybe run like a matchbook or some rough printer paper. Uh, fold it over a few times and run that between the the contacts. So what you would do is you would take you have a contact here and here, and you would take the paper and then go like that. You're not going to want to use emery cloth. You're not going to want to use sandpaper. You're going to want to use a rough printer paper, or if you have some old school matchbooks laying around, maybe uh, do something like that. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I know this video came out a little longer than I wanted it to, but uh, it's just a beautiful microphone. Just don't pay too much for them. Watch for the pitting issues, and uh, y'all have yourselves a super fine one. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and um, don't forget to subscribe. All right. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching.